Am I live? Am I, am I live? If I'm alive, uh, type potato into the chat. This room is very echoey and my microphone is probably way too quiet. So if I'm live, then uh, give me a potato in the chat. I don't know where to look. Uh, anyway, we're here for the unboxing. Okay, great. We're live and you can hear me and I'm not too quiet. I'm, I'm probably a little bit too quiet, but uh, I'm still getting things worked out. I'm so nervous because <clears throat> I've, seen, I've seen such uh, talented streamers go before me. So uh, I've got a lot to live up to. So anyway, let, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. I've taken so long uh, starting to do this live streaming thing. Uh, yeah. But anyway. As somebody was saying, yeah, the most surprising thing is that I've, uh, I've taken so long to, to actually unbox this. And if you know anything about the, uh, the M65A, then you know that it was not an easy group buy. Not an easy group buy at all. But I've got mine, unless it's a box full of bricks, in which case, yeah, in which case I really, I've got a box full of bricks, yeah. Uh, all right, let me, let me, let me, let me read chat. Uh, I don't, yeah, see, this is why, see, Anthony has great stories. I don't have good stories. When my, when my daughter goes to bed, she calls for my wife because she's got the good stories. Uh, but I'll, I'll have to, I'll have to work on that. Yeah, I have to get some good stories. Uh, anyway, I, I don't even have a proper unboxing, unboxing knife either. All I've got is a, is a little craft knife. See, I need to get my unboxing game on. Just this is all I've got. But anyway, I've taken all the labels off, so hopefully nobody can nobody can find out where I live. Uh, let, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Let's unbox this thing. Finally, I, I think I've had this for like two months. I think it's two months I've had this thing. Could be could be more than that. Oh, there it is. It's not a box full of bricks. Well, it could be a box full of bricks inside an M65A box. There it is. There it actually is. That is actually it. It's here. <laughs> this is, yes, this is my 65A. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Uh, okay, looks like a shoebox. Uh, all right. Oh, the goodies in there. M65A number 79. I've got number 79. Can you believe it? <laughs> the self-control of a Buddhist monk. I have. I have. Ah, oh, this is just... just... Should, I, should we leave it till next week? No, let's, let's do it now. Oh. Look at that. Oh, I can't, what colour did I get? I think I got gold, or was it rose gold, or cham champagne, that's it, I think I got champagne. Champagne is what I got. Oh, look at that. Look at it. That is amazing. That is amazing. Amazeballs. Well, it's, this padding is pretty impressive. But hopefully it's, you know, if it went into the box unscratched, then it got, <clears throat> then it got to me unscratched. Yeah, that's, that's nice and thick. Nice and thick. All right, so this is a plate. This is a plate. Uh, look at my hands shaking. My hands are shaking. That is a plate. Uh, it's, it's tough working with this delay. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing myself on the different screen doing something I did 15, 20 seconds ago. So uh, that'll take a bit, take a bit of getting used to. Who has a problem? We all have a problem. Yes, the packaging is really nice, isn't it? It is nice. One cannot deny that. Let's take everything out and then just, just, just look at it in, in, in turn. Let's just, let's get on with it. What's this? Screws. Screws and the case. Genuine. Genuine stabilizers. What is this? What is that? There's something else, something else in here. What is that? Oh, it's the feet. 
Okay, with feet, nice color coordinated feet. Keyboard is so hot. This is so hot. I'm working on stories. I'll get sto I'll get stories in the next one. I did the, my my main priority is actually getting this thing so that you can actually hear what I'm saying and see what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah. Okay. The first thing we're wrapping is the is the the weight. Look at the weight. Look at that. Not a fingerprint on it. Not a fingerprint on it. Look at that. Mm. That's shiny. That's shiny. Now, these stabilizers, to answer the question, are they screwing? They are screwing. I think this was an add-on later on. I think he, he asked people which ones they want. Uh, yeah, they are screw-ins. And he included the screws as well, which is nice. Uh, yeah, so screw in stabs, and they are genuine, they are genuine, yeah, oh, we got the man himself in here, we got the man himself, the stream meister himself, Anthony is here, I am but standing on the shoulders of giants, uh, we go screwing stabs, so that's good. That's one thing I don't have to worry about. Those there. Uh, let's look at the plate, because I think when Anthony unboxed his, he, he said his plate was a bit bent. Let, let's put mine on on my desk. Yeah, there's a bit of there's a little bit of bend in there, a little bit bent. But look, I have a keyboard, so that's all I'm worried about, and uh, it's not too bad. That'll, that'll come out. That'll come out. Hey. Guess what I can do? Guess what I can do? So I've got a trick. Look at that. Oh. Check it out. I can even go. See. Look at that. Look at that. What does, what does that say? Designed by RamaWorks, distributed by Keyclack. Eventually, RamaWorks, Keyclack.com. Looks amazing. It looks amazing. It's so shiny. Shiny and wonderful. Yeah. Go back to the main view. Look at that. I've got views. I have got different camera angles and, and everything. Everything. Okay. Uh, let's look at the PCB. That's the, the next least exciting thing. We'll save the most exciting thing for the last. All right. It's a PCB. It's a very nice PCB. It's got lots of LEDs on it. Uh, are all the LEDs there? Yes, they are. I, I like black PCBs. They do look nice, and it's nice and smooth. It's good. Pretty good. Do I have any way of plugging this in? Yes, I do. Keep up with chat. Not too much Dota. No Dota. Polycarb bottom will seem a bit bent as well. If it's nice once it's been screwed well. Will do. Camera angle never switched. <gasps> ah, oh, this is noob mistake, isn't it? Noob mistake. Noob mistake. Okay, we're gonna do that again then. We'll do that again. Ooh. Are we in? Are we, are we there? <laughs> Gotta click the transition button. Yeah. So nice and shiny, nice and shiny plate, no fingerprints on it. Get that out. He's ruined it. Ruined it. It's on the back. Nothing. Just a shiny on the back. Look at that. Well, well, it's not been brushed as much, I suppose. But ah, look at that. I'm touching it. All right. That's the plate done. Let's get out out the way. Thunk. 
Uh, what else can we show up close and personal? PCB. Let's show the interesting bit. That's a bit wobbly though, isn't it, this camera? Because this camera is rubbish. The camera I've got on the close-up one is kind of not good. That like you're under the sea, somewhere under the sea. Switch back. Right. Yes, thank you for pointing that out. Uh, I will make I will make noob mistakes. <laughs> This is the QMK PCB. This is the QMK PCB. Well, I hope it is. Well, that's what I asked for anyway. Uh, yeah, I did ask for the QMK one. What were the other ones? Uh, easy, easy AVR? No. The other one. The other one. What's the other one called? Let me put this back. Or should I test it? I can't even bother testing it. This isn't going to be. A sh this isn't going to be a, a, a an Anthony style four hour stream because. I'm, I'm hungry and I'm cold. It's cold here. It's raining. It's raining a lot in Japan at the moment. It's ridiculous. It doesn't rain for very, uh, doesn't rain very much in the winter. And then when we get to towards spring, it starts raining a lot. Put this PCB back, and then we'll check on the case. We've got another thing to unbox too, haven't we? So gently, and then, oh. All in bits. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? It is a bit. Look at that. The boat. It's a bit boat like. A little bit boat like. So this is the polycarb bottom. Pretty thick. It's a little bit discolored. I suppose that's I suppose that's from the machining, but uh yeah, it is it is a bit a bit bowed in the middle. I guess you can't really see from zoomed in view, but yeah. A little bit bowed there. But hey, I've got a keyboard. I've got to keep reminding myself this. I could I could still be waiting for it to, to be delivered. But I think everyone's got theirs, haven't they? Everyone's, everyone's got their oops. Bow goes away. Good. Does it just go away by itself when you when you screw it in? Alright. And out of the way, let me check, let me do the, the inspection of, the inspection for scratches. See one, I found one. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, false alarm, false flag. Let me, let me switch to the close-up view and we can inspect together and then you can tell me if I've got a scratched one and if I need to kick up a fuss or not. Go. I don't see anything. You? No. See anything? Gotta be careful because I've got a ring on, so. It looks okay. It looks okay to me. Still inspecting. The anodizing looks good to me. It looks good and it feels good. Looks good, feels good. And I don't see any scratches. Let me just let me just inspect with myself. Forgive me if it goes a little bit out of focus. Uh, ooh, I can, there is some residue on it. Ooh, look at that. Ugh. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Toxic. Toxic waste. No idea what that is, but it rubs off. Yeah, it's still... What is that? Did you have that on yours? Anybody who got one of these? Do you have some suspicious black residue? Probably not poison. Yeah, rub that. That off there. <laughs> when are we change it to reverse cowgirl? I led a very sheltered life and I don't know what that means. 
but it's probably something rude. Is that a, a ding? No. It actually looks in pretty good condition. If you check the, uh, check the USB port, I'm having to do anything backwards. That discoloration you can see is that, is the powdery stuff. I don't, I don't know why that is. I have to give that a, that a wipe later on. Mold from Jay Chan's Barrage. <laughs> That'll be on live stream fails. Live stream fails if it's rice in or something like that. Is rice in and come in powdered form? Any any former KGB agents chime in now? Can you get rice in in powdered form? What was that one that killed the guy in Salisbury a couple of weeks ago? No, everything looks everything looks mint. Let me switch back to the main view. Everything looks mint, to be honest with you. I have no complaints. Damn it, nothing to complain about. I'm British, so you know. We need to have something to complain about. Looking good, looking good. Oh, barrage, barrage. Not gar, not not garage, not barrage, garage. Okay, so the color it looks really good. It's not, it's not gold. Is it champagne gold? I guess it is a champagne. I don't have an iPhone, so I don't know what. It is champagne. I did champagne. It's not gold, it's champagne, which is kind of a, a pinky gold, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, think it, I think the colour was called champagne, but yeah, it is a, like a rose, it is like a rose gold, yeah, if you've seen this one, but it doesn't look pink, though. I'm just trying to look at it in different lights. It doesn't look pink. It's, it's between a, a, a pinky champagne gold and, uh, and a normal gold, but it's nice. I think I made the right choice. I think I made the right choice with this one. Um, hum, hum. Orange jumpsuit. Yeah. I don't know why I picked orange. Um, if you know, uh, like company workers and stuff in Japan, they wear, they wear this kind of stuff, right? They wear this kind of stuff. Even if they work in an office, if they work for a manufacturing company, and even if they work in the office, they would wear stuff, you know, like, like this kind of stuff, you know, with with epaulets, epaulets and, and po pockets. It's a real pocket, not fake. And uh, I even had a badge made. Look, is it backwards in the camera? Probably backwards in the camera, but anyway. Does, do we have a mascot? No, we don't. We don't have a mascot. I guess I'm the mascot. Well, this guy's the mascot. He is my mascot. He's my lucky mascot. Uh, do you know what this is? He's my mascot. Um, yeah, so I had this, I, I bought this off Amazon and then I, I had this patch made as well. Too much time on his hands. Too much time on his hands. Uh, okay, what else is there to check? The feet, the feet are a bit weird, aren't they? Didn't some people say that they they ordered extra bottoms and they didn't get extra feet for their extra bottoms? I'm happy just to get one set. So the bottoms are not uh, clear or white. These are kind of a beige. These are beige bottoms. Yeah, beige. Look at my beige bottom. Official 3M beige bottom. So that's that. Nearly there. So I'm happy. I'm pleased. Nothing to complain about. MC M65A is complete, as far as I'm concerned. Complete. Uh, switches. Now, no, I, I wanted to ask actually, what switches I should use in this. So my options are, my options are, which I don't have them handy, switches on this. Let's see. My options are these, which nobody seems to like. Everybody seems to hate these because <laughs> they're, uh, they're not halos, so everybody hates these. But I, you know, I think they're okay. 
they feel okay in the hand. These are the Hakko Hakko clears. So what switches should I use? Who's been hidden? Wait, no, sorry. Sorry if your chat got hidden, it's not me, it's the it's the machine. Um keycaps. Keycaps will probably be uh GMK nine double oh nine, I think, because I've got GMK anyway, we'll get onto the caps in a minute, but switches, what should I put in them? The switches that I've got are these Hacko Clears and I've got some kale um burgundies as well. So the problem is, as Anthony said, that this plate was a bit loose. If I've only got switches that don't have PCB prongs, then we could be in for a, a tough time. Let me see if I can get a switch into a plate. Let's see. In. Uh, well, seems to be to be okay. Uh, there is some there is some movement, but there is some movement, but yeah, it's okay. These would these would work. And I think the white would go pretty well. Pretty well. Better than burgundy, I think. Does anybody have burgundies? I don't have any boards with them actually in. Uh, so you'd have to tell me whether they're worth, worth it. Somebody said that, you know, you hear so many, uh, you know, differing opinions on, on switches. But... Uh, Clickies. Now I don't have any clicky switches. Do I? Have? Yes, I only have one board with clicky switches. Is the um, Cheristotle, Cheristotle sixty. But I don't really have any more of those left, so I can't put those in. So it's it's probably going to be. Ha Does anybody have any strong objections to me putting Hacko clears in these? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Zelios. I have Zelios, but I don't think I have enough to put in here. And I think I'm reserving my Zelios to switch the bottoms out for my Cherry Silence, because I was told that they would be they would be better than the Cherry Silence that I have. So the Zelios are kind of reserved. So probably won't put Zelios in. Kale Burgundy are very similar to Gatoron Yellow, just a tad bit louder. Louder, huh? And the travel distance is shorter, right? For the Burgundies. Right. Your box switches white or navy. Say, I'd, I'd like to get some of those navy ones, but they're a bit scary. I've heard they're, they're a bit hard on presses. But I might get some of those sometime, but... Probably going to be these Hakko clears, the switches. Uh, and it says, I have white box switches in my DZ60 and I love them to death. Everybody seems to like the white box switches. They're, they're one of the switches and, and the blacks as well. They're one of the switches that people kind of agree on are, are good. So, a bit hard on. Now, now. This is a family stream. Doesn't want to come out. There. So it'll probably be Hacko Clears. That. Uh, yeah. How many did I get? A bag, 120. How many switches in this? 65-ish, depending on, depending on if I do a split spacebar. Yeah, I might do a split spacebar. I don't have any keyboards with a split spacebar. The new mini doesn't count because that's like two unit spacebar. So, Snake absolutely loves my channel. Thank you, Snake. And I need to say thank you. I, I, I didn't do a proper, you know, thanks for, you know, 1,000 or thanks for 2,000. I, I recently broke 2,000, 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you for everybody who supported me. 
and even the people who subscribed when I was making Minecraft videos. If you're still here and you're still watching, then thank you too. Uh, how long will it take for a build video to come out? Well, now that I've decided on the, on the switches, not too long. Not too long, I don't think. I keep looking over there because I've got another thing open, but I guess I could just stick to looking at this one. Hakuska, C10 Skyline from the late 1960s. Ooh. Before I came to Japan, I always dreamed of owning a, uh, a Skyline. Oh, Kaiser333 has subscribed. Cheers, bud. Thanks for the sub. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I didn't do any thank you videos, so I should say thank you for that. My channel is, is doing well. Uh, where can I put this? Out the way. Yeah, so this might, this might not be there in the next, the next live stream I do. <laughs> this, is, this is to hide the, uh, the office, which is, which is the background to my, uh, my live streaming setup. Uh, so, is that everything for the M65A? Has anybody, has anybody who has an M65A had any problems with theirs, with the PCB? There was a guy in the thread this week said that his stopped working, but he fixed it. Nice. Box Skyline. Yeah, I, I, I wanted one. That was when I was like 12 and I, you know, didn't know how much things cost or... I don't even own a... I don't even have a car. There. Dreams. Dreams were shattered. Uh, yeah, so I hope... I, I just hope I don't have any problems with it in terms of building that M65A. Don't want to be soldering onto the, the controller or anything like that. So, yeah. Could be this week, because I've got time off, because it's, uh, it's the end of the uh, academic year in Japan. So all the kids are finishing school, and then we're going to start the academic year again in, in April. So I have a lot of time off, and I probably will be able to build either the M65A or the Pearl. Pearl first. Uh, yeah. Garlands of forbidden fruit. Yeah, I think I think the re one of the reasons I wanted one is because I, th I think at that time you could only get it get them for by importing them into the UK. They they weren't sold. Are they are they sold in there there now? I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but there's a, there's a guy there's two there's two teachers at school that have them. One guy sold his to another teacher and then he bought a brand new one, uh, and it's really nice. And I went in it. Yeah, I've been in it. It was nice. It was that that was as close as I'll probably get to uh, to my my boyhood dream of owning one. Did I get white chocolate? Did I get chocolate for White Day? I didn't get anything for White Day. But actually, White Day is when men give girls a chocolate. But uh, I I gave chocolate on Valentine's Day to my wife and my daughter. So I think I was off the hook for White Day. Uh, I meant to go in and buy some cheap chocolate on the 15th of March because I'm a cheapo, but I forgot. Have I tried Pro Purples? I haven't. I haven't. The new Royal looks really interesting. Yeah, I think somebody posted that in, in Anthony's Discord. If, you're not, if you haven't joined Anthony's Discord, join Anthony's Discord because I, I don't have one. I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not prolific enough to have my own Discord, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to piggyback off, off Anthony. So if somebody wants to post that, are you allowed to post? Have I let people post? Yeah, anyway, post a link to Anthony's Discord. Um, no, I haven't tried the Pro Purples. Where are my Pro Burgundies? Where? They're in my drawers. Found them. Yeah, these are the... These are the Pro Bergs, the Pro Burgundies I've got, and uh, I got these ages ago. It's kind of a common, a common theme. I, I buy things and then I just like don't use them, don't unbox them. Uh, just they just sit in a drawer. Uh, I've got loads of stuff. I've got loads of stuff I haven't built and haven't used. So yeah, it's a pattern. That's why I'm, that's why I've stopped buying stuff for a little bit. 
Oh no, I'm not going to make a Discord. No, it, it, I, I, have, I have terrible trouble keeping up with the Discords I'm, I'm a member of. Um, I like Anthony's because I can actually understand what everybody's going on about. Most of the stuff I can't, I can't like join into the conversation. It's a generational thing. I'm getting too old. I don't know what they're all talking about. Just, I just sit there, just looking at the screen, just scrolling, scrolling. I don't know what they're on about. <laughs> My dad jokes and old memes. My memes, I only have the freshest memes, Anthony. Only the freshest. Freshest memes. Yeah, so I, I guess I could put the burgundies in the pearl then, since they'll be hanging around going spare. Could do that. Put the burgundies in the in the pearl. Or or I could use these. Could use these. Look at these. Have any of you ever heard of? See what it says. New glam. New glam. Anybody heard of new glam switches? If you have, let me know. The new glam red switches, which I got from, which I got from a famous Chinese retail site in return for doing a video, which I never did. Never did the video because um, they, they sent me quite a lot of stuff, but every time they sent me the stuff, it would arrive broken. Like they sent me a case, arrived broken. They sent me um, a plate for a 60%, it arrived. It, was, it looked like it had been, you know, bent. Uh, it, looked like, uh, it looked like Mount Fuji when it got here. Um, so yeah, but anyway, no, I won't be, I won't be using those. Uh, fresh from the 1980. Uh, okay, what's next? Oh yeah, the other thing. Get on with it. Did I take all my identifying information off this one? I think I did. My pro unboxing knife. I've got to learn to do, it, do everything, on, make sure it's all in the camera, in the frame, right? So I don't like put the box on my lap and open it there. Here we go. Now, you know, you can't get much more of a contrast than the the M65A group by and the Pearl group by. They were quite the different beasts. I think he put the usernames on here, but you know, and everybody knows that I'm I'm Stoic Lemon on on Reddit and Geek Hack. Look at that. Thank you for your order. Personally inspected, very carefully packed my, my Pearl Group by order so it does not arrive damaged or incomplete. This is great. Now, Kubacek did an absolutely fantastic job. Yes, my name is Alexander. Oh my God, scoop. Oh yeah, I, I couldn't remember what, uh, what color I got for my Pearl either. Forget age, it's the, it's the age, it's an age thing. Keyboard stuff, who's this snake? How much money have you spent on keyboard stuff? I was calculating how much money I've spent early in the year, just last month on keyboards. $935. Wow. Is that in one month? What did you buy? <laughs> What have you been buying, mate? Nathan, I wish I'd spent that little last month. In one month? My gosh. So what did you buy? What, were you, what, what did you spend $900 on? That must have been more than one keyboard, right? Not just on one keyboard. This is really cool. There's actually a guide. That is really cool. I mean, he's made it so accessible. He's made it so accessible. I think this is a, this is a key thing for a lot of 
a lot of keyboards. Made it so that it's not intimidating to get. Happening in the news. Floods. Floods in Utah. Oh, Utah Street. Some parts of the Western US. I hope you're okay if you're in the Western US. Hope you didn't get flooded. In Minnesota and Wisconsin. Oh, it's Trump. No Trump on the stream. So what did you buy? All right, mate. See ya. See you, dude. He's in Australia. You're in Australia. So it's about the same time, so you've probably got stuff to do since it's the afternoon. Hello, if you are new to my channel and if you're new to the stream. Ivan Skis and the Beast. Hello to you. What is that? Oh, he even gives you denture tabs too. Wait, they are denture tabs, right? Not sweets. Effident. I'm guessing that is a, a, a brand of denture tab. Don't know. I'm not that old. Oh, look at that cable. Now that is pink. Now that is pink. That is a pink cable. That is beautiful. That is a beauty. <laughs> uh, and a sticker. Cherry sticker. I like stickers, but I don't have anywhere to put them. I need to get... I think Anthony was talking about putting uh, his stickers on his... on his board that he has in his streams. All right. Let's do these... let's do these little bits and pieces first. You get some things, some screws. Okay, what did you get? GK64, Mix Big Bang, Hyperfuse, Redux, GMMKTKL, XD75RE, Kale Burgundy, nice, Data on Yellows, XDA Blanks, Switch Test. <laughs> this is part one of two. <laughs> oh my god. Stick them on your laptop. See, I don't even have a laptop. If I did, I could put them on my... I put them on my computer at work. Bam, thank you. Yes, I have a, a very old and aging Silverstone, um, what is it? The, the Mini ITX one, the tower. I've got one of those at, at work. Uh, I could stick it on that. Kel sockets and cherry stabilizers, $35. Won't even be able to use. <laughs> Classic keyboard enthusiast. Oh, the Xylent switches. $120 on switches, flush cutters. I've got some flush cutters that I haven't even unboxed yet. Oh, I could do a flush cutter unboxing too. Flush cutters. Something else. Ah, screw it. Screw it. I have to wait for next time for the flush cutter unboxing. Stick up on my head. Oh god, I could. <laughs> I just cut my hair the other day. Uh, it's a bit cold. P. Need a few more slaps and I'll have a fully sticker bombed wrap top. <laughs> Back in there. I'm, I'm breaking something. Edwin Marin, thank you for the sub. Does anybody know which, which anime that's from? I'm not into anime. I think we had a discussion about this on, on the Discord the other day. I'm into like five anime only. All right, let's see what we got. So many things. Man, this is well packaged. This is super well packaged. This, uh, this is just bubble wrap, surely. Yes, it's just bubble wrap. Not some really small components.
Nice. Okay. Way better than mod M. What's that? The, the Xylence. Sharp high bump that drops slowly into the actuation point, and it's the ideal tactile switch. Just how I would design one if I did it myself. All right, you must be well happy then. Okay, see now, I was not pleased at all with the Gator on Silence or the Cherry Silence that I had and that I do have in my, uh, in my new Mini. I've got time later, if anybody's still watching later, I'll get the new Mini out and I'll, I'll let you have a listen to that. I wasn't, I wasn't impressed with the Cherry Silence at all. But those are, of course, linear. So not exactly the same, but still. I was searching for a silent switch. RG. What could that possibly mean? I wonder. What should we do first? What's this? I guess this is the PCB. I mean, the PCB is not that exciting, right? Well, it's just a PCB. I'm limited in space. I'm running out of places to put things here. <laughs> uh, what's that? Plate. All right, we'll do these bits. So much bubble wrap. This is great. Inspires confidence. Yes, those outlets are expensive. Wasn't I that? Yeah, they are. You know, I mean, what am I going to do with them now? Those I've got, I've got Gator on silence, and I've got Cherry silence. I've got nothing to put them in. Um, but my idea was just to make a macro pad for, for streaming. See, this is this is why I'm streaming. I'm streaming so I can buy more stuff, not just uh, not just keyboard stuff. So here's a lovely shiny plate. It's got fingerprints on it. Ah, oh, look at that. Nice. Of course, it's a bit bent. I don't think it's possible to have any of these things not be bent. Yeah. Anyway, that's nice. It has kind of an unconventional stagger, doesn't it? The the pearl, which some people were not happy about, but I guess you know he made that clear, and he made the reasons for that clear as well. So can't complain about that. Right, linear switches are always disappointing. Oh, have some reds and the K sixty five O and hate typing on it. Good for gaming, not much else. Right, you see now, I have, um, I have my, um, my TX1800 has Gator on Blacks. And I quite like it, quite like it. So that's why I'm, I'm eager to try the, the Kale Box Blacks, because that's another one people seem to love a lot, so. I haven't given up on linears. I haven't given up on linears yet. The bend is a design. <laughs> yeah, a design choice, as we all know. How do they get bent? I guess the, the material that they cut it from is bent in the first place, so, yeah. Gatron yellows are far better, in my opinion, than other linears, but the burgundy is super close, especially compared to other options. All right, so I haven't tried, I haven't tried the, um, Gator on yellows. Um, kind of given up on Gator on switches. So, I don't know, maybe I should give the yellows a try. I think people, people tend to, to put the yellows in a different category, don't they? With, with uh, other Gator on switches. Yellows are like special ones that are okay to like. Um, like tactility, tactility and clickiness. Yeah, you see, that's the thing. I, I used to think that I only liked uh, tactile switches. I think the first, the first keyboard, the first mechanical keyboard that I bought was um, a Ducky 9-0 something something. It wasn't a shine one, but it had browns in it and I liked it. And the second keyboard I bought was a Topre UB91K or whatever it's called. Um, and I like that too, so I was like, okay, well, I like I like tactiles. So then I bought zeals, and I like those. Uh, and then I bought 
the Gatoron clears, and I like those too. They're they're pretty light. So if you don't like light switches, then you probably won't like those either. But uh, yeah. Yeah, if you don't like linear as a whole, then yeah. But uh, you know, I am undecided. I kind of like, I kind of like most switches. The only switch I don't like is the um, blues, cherry, cherry blues, gator and blues. They just don't sound good to me. Uh, it's not even the the feel. The feel is very light, but they don't sound good to me. My uh, my cherry stottles, they sound really nice, but I still don't think I could live with clicky switches. Um, usually my my wife is behind me working, so I couldn't really have a board with clicky switches anyway. This uh, this unboxing is taking ages. <laughs> if you only came for the unboxing, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're watching it on a VOD, you probably skipped ahead to, the, to this point. I hope the, uh, the rustling is not damaging your ears too much. Uh, started with the QFR and MX Browns. Yeah, you see, I started with MX Browns. And our very own dear Anthony, he loves Browns. I think he likes the Cherry RGB Browns, doesn't he? Yeah. So, yeah, I don't hate on, I don't hate on other switches, you know, because you like what you like. And if you like it, then you like it. So, you know, fine by me. Let's do everything and then we'll and then we'll inspect. Yeah, those navies. I think I saw. Uh, I think it was Atari Zero did uh, a stream where he built a plank. I think it was with with the navies, and they sounded really nice. But he he said he was quite surprised with how how heavy they were. So I probably wouldn't like typing on them, and it's kind of a waste of money if I just bought them just for that. But uh, I like them, but I just couldn't live with them, I don't think. Keeping up with chat. I mean, it's easy for me to keep up with chat. Because my chat doesn't go crazy so much like... Like some people's chat. Plastic on plastic. Yeah, it's true. Plastic on plastic, it's hard to make it sound good. Yeah. Just, you know, when you compare the cherry ones with, with the kale, with the click, it, there's just no comparison. There is just no comparison to the, the sound of the, the kale clicks to any of the, the cherry, you know, regular cherry clones. Yeah. Fox Royals, I need to check those out. I, don't, I just saw somebody posted just briefly. I need to check. What, what are they? School me on them. School me on, on the Royals. What's, what's different about Royals? This looks really nice. Oh, and it's not like a it's not like a horrible pink. It's not like a pink. It's this is a nice pink. You know, webcams don't really do colors a lot of justice, especially if they're in the kind of the the red spectrum I found cuz um and I've tried to kind of get the camera to be accurate. Now my my orange is not this bright. The saturation is a little bit high. But as for this red, it's pretty accurate. This is pretty accurate. Uh, what it looks like for me. Um, this is really nice. I, I'm 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 pleasantly surprised. I thought it would be. Thought it would be more. I don't know. What did I think it would? Be? Well, it's very different to the M65, which is more of gold. When I look at it. You compare them. The M65A is very much gold rather than, you know, a rose gold. You can see, I hope, if I don't shine and glare too much, that they do look quite different. Let me see if I can do it better on the closer. Closer up view. They're pretty different, aren't they? You can, you can clearly tell that this is more towards a pink, whereas this is more towards a gold. See that this 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 camera is a little bit less saturated, so colors are a bit more accurate here. Yeah, so pleasing. It's pleasing. That. Uh. 
hope I don't knock over my set in the background. Next build is a plum. Have I missed some chat? Scroll up the other chat. Yeah, the Aristotle stem hybrid. Yeah, they are an exception. I don't think I could do another build like that though. Uh, it's too much of a hassle. It's too much of a hassle. That's why I'm not really bothered about the the holy pandas. It's like can't be bothered. Can't be bothered hunting down those two rare and expensive switches. So nope. Um, start with. So with MX Browns, I honestly hated them because I don't bottom out and I have a tendency to break the tactile point, yet not actuate the switch, unfortunately, but yeah, it's not for me. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I try not to, and I think I'm, go I'm getting towards a style of where I don't bottom out so much. That's why I think I will like the, the Hako clears. Next build is a plum. 84 board I've already ordered with Gator and Browns until I have enough money to mod in some Xylance. Ooh, Blinky. I, I would like to try the Xylance, but that is something I, I, would, I would spend the money on. The Rose looked to have a very strong, very strong tactile bump that's very deep. So that appeals to me very strongly. Oh, okay, all right. New novel keys, tactile. Because he's supposed to be like the navies, but more drawn out. Oh, interesting. Yeah, one is pink, one is definitely more gold. When I first took out the M65A, it didn't look like such a, a gold. I don't have anything gold to compare it with, so I can't really do a comparison there. T's going cold. My favourite keycap sets. Definitely GMK9009. Hey, we could unbox that too. That's something else that I uh, have I have left under my desk. Un un unboxed. GMK9009. I really like, and I was so gutted when I realised that I'd missed out missed out on round one because I I check I check Geek Hack like every day, and I and I have an alert set up on the um, on the group by forum to send me emails when there's a new thread. And I, I don't know how I missed it. I think I must have just been busy when it was on like for a month. I'm never busy. But uh, yeah, I, I was gutted when I missed it. So I made up for that and I got it. We'll, we'll get that out in a minute. Okay, so this is great. Uh, I think Anthony found some, some like parts of this, the anodizing that were a bit like off. If you're still here, Anthony, what can you remind me what what was off? Like the kind of changed texture. Oh yes, 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 yes. I see. Yeah, you can see that. It's just it looks like it's just on one side though. I can really notice it. Yeah, there's definitely a line there. Let's see. Uh, you can see. Yeah, you can see that really clearly there, can't you? You can. You can see that quite clearly. If I move it like that, you can't see it though. Yeah. Arcade 15, thanks for the sub. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you can see a line there. You can see a line there. Very faintly. Uh, very faintly. Where else? Where else did he say you could see? How about the texture as it goes, goes along there? It looks fine to me. Did he have any dings on his? Only the next 60% series be uploaded. It will be uploaded. Actually, I don't have any plans. <laughs> Usually, um, what I do with the, This Is My 60 is, I look at when the last episode was uploaded, and then I try to do it, I, d I try not to do it too often because I think people will get bored of, I think people get bored of it. But like if a new case has come out or if a new keycap set has come out, like if a new like board has come out, then there's going to be some new stuff in there that people might want to see. Uh, but I guess, yeah, it's kind of, it's about time, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's about time. So soon is the answer. 
soon is the answer. Um, yeah. Who said that? Ah, San. Triple A San, soon will be, soon it'll be coming out soon. Dark splotches. Yeah, I don't really notice that. No, I don't notice any dark splotches. But what colour was, what colour was the one that you unboxed, Anthony? Was it gold? But yeah, I definitely see the line. I can see the line uh, on parts of it, but it's definitely not a big problem. And it's kind of, I, I feel like it's the light for me on this pink one anyway. I think on this side, it's a definite line. On this side, the curve, the line that you can see is much more subtle. And I think it's just to do with the light and it may not even be there, but it's definitely there on this side, yeah. This side is much more noticeable with the naked eye. But everywhere else looks to be just fine. I uh, love that logo. But why is it a diamond? I only I only bought this one on the last on the very very last day of the buy. I wasn't going to get it. Then I don't know. Somebody somebody posted. I think he he must have posted something on his Instagram, and I was like, yeah. Then what's this? What is this? Oh, this is the weight. This is the weight, isn't it? Um, I better be careful with this. I've got a big pile of. Things mounting up. So I'm running out of space. Small Japanese house. Small Japanese house problems. Did you see the Vim kit for the GMK9009 that's up on Dixie? I did not. I did not. And I can't use Vim. Whenever I whenever I uh, set up um, when I set up uh, QMK the first time and I had to edit the. Uh, and you change a file, and it was in Vim. I think it was in Vim, right? Is it Vim? And I was like, oh, yeah, I remember this when I used to use Linux. And you have to press, like, Control-X or something like that, and it confused me. So I have not seen that. I'm not smart enough to use Vim. So I, so I quickly changed the text editor to, uh, to Nano instead. Yeah. Noob-friendly Nano. This is my 65. See, I, I, think, I think in the first few episodes, I, I think I did sneak in some 65%. And I think there was an M65A in one of the episodes too, but I feel like I, I shouldn't put too many 65% in because, you know, where does it end? And then I'll be putting, you know, 70% in and stuff. This is my 70. No, I won't be doing that. I don't even own a 75%, but I know somebody who's making one. There's two 75% that I like. The, well, one that I, I know I like because I know the person that's creating it is creating it with love for the community. So Anthony's 75%. I'm sure I like that because, you know, he knows, he knows what he's talking about. So I uh, can't see myself not liking that one. And the, the Zeno 65, have you seen that one? Thoughts. How... How will the, the, the Zeno 65 be different from... I'm not saying the name. I'm not saying the name of your keyboard, Anthony. It was red, was it? Okay. Yeah, like, it's not, it's not so noticeable. Not so noticeable. Yeah, how will how will the the Zeno six seventy five be different from uh, the one that you're designing? I would say that <laughs> you can type it in. It might get. I, I think I, I think I might have set up naughty word filtering, but you can try it. You you have my permission to type in the name of Anthony's keyboard into the chat. Go ahead, have at it. One oh nine. Ah, oh, I'm so happy I got that number because photo ops. 
because photo ops. If you if you've ever been to Japan, and you know the famous uh, department store, you'll know why I'm very excited to have this number. Chimaruku. Ooh, it is nice. Does it leave? Yeah, it does. Cause you know, a little bit of sweat on the old hands here. Yeah. I love the finish on it. I like the fact that it's not shiny. I think that was a good decision. I think that was a good decision to not make it to not make it be shiny. I keep forgetting to transition back. Sorry, everyone. I will be more professional in the next stream if there is a next one. Yeah, I like that finish. Can you see, it's not, it's not shiny. Very, very much not shiny. Me maneuver, yeah. So there is a famous, um, there's a famous landmark in Shibuya that is the the 109 building. So I can I can go there and try and get keyboard and the 109 building in, in shot. Sweet, sweet karma. And again, probably nobody will get the reference, but yeah, no, I like this. I like the choice of, of material here. Any scratches? There's a bit of a scratch on the corner. No, it doesn't really bother me. Let me. little bit of a scratch but I mean I think when I put it in the when I put it in the case it's probably gonna get scratched anyway so so yes that is that let me wrap I'll be sure to wrap that up I'm not gonna just put that on the on the big pile of on the big pile of things okay still Sandblasted, yeah, oh, is that what it is? It's sandblasted, yes, I like it. Okay, I like the sandblasted finish on, on the weight. I do like that. I do like the sandblasted finish on the weight. That is a good idea. Oh, space. Oh. Love this cable. I don't, oh, oh the one thing I own that is USB-C is my Nintendo Switch. My wife has, two, two um, Nexus 5 X's. So she's got, she's got, she's in the USB scene, but I've only got my Switch, but yeah, now I've got the Pearl. Okay. I like it more than having to look like something straight out of Dubai. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, for a, for a plate, it's kind of nice to have a bit of shine, I think. But I don't, I don't have any other keyboards with gold plates, so I'm still, I'm still big on the novelty, so I think I'll get jaded and uh, feel like a change. Yeah, I want, I want a keyboard with a, with a shiny black plate. They do that now, right? That's, that's brass, right? Brass coated with the PVD in black. Need to sell this Z70 Pro. Which Z70 Pro is that? 75% with hot swap sockets, very bad. Yeah, that would be cool. Can't have stepped caps lock with swap sockets. Okay, right, right, right. Yeah, I guess there are, you, you know, there, you have to have some compromises, don't you, with those, with those sockets, but... Uh, I'm, I'm reading. I'm silently reading. <laughs> 66 to 68 key setups too. Yeah. See, this is going to be the first... Um, like, I have a series called This Is My 60, but it's not like I have loads of 60% keyboards. I have my... I'm going to knock something over here. Over... I have this, my, look at the dust on it. Oh, for shame. I have my uh, OG 
G860 Rev C uh, with Cherry Stottles. Does that even come through? That sounds really nice. Uh, they do sound nice with a cheap. Um, look at the red. This is it's not this red. It is not this saturated. Good grief! Feels like it's been dipped in blood. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's not. It's not quite that saturated red. But this camera makes it. <laughs> this camera makes it look good. It makes the blacks look deeper. The little. It's not. It's not quite that deep. Deeply saturated. I've left it sitting there because I just like I like to you know reach over and give it a every now and again. Uh, group by for the Z70. I'll have to check that out. Okay, I've got a, I've got I've got homework to do. Uh, am I a foreigner that lives in Japan? Yes, I am a foreigner that lives in Japan. I'm not Japanese. I live in Japan. I'm not Japanese, I just live here. Yeah, it does, they do sound nice. So I, I just like to have it on my desk and then I'll kind of like, just like reach across and just, mm, yeah, that's good. But I couldn't use one, like I said, you know, my wife is behind me doing actual work while I'm just usually playing, you know? So that wouldn't be fair to her. And I work in an office, so yeah, clicky switch is not practical. For anything other than novelty value. So this is probably the only clicky keyboard I will ever own. Unless I sell this. <laughs> this is probably the only clicky switch keyboard I'll ever own. Yeah, so yeah, it's not like I have loads of 60% keyboards. So I have that and I have, this isn't clicky though. I mean, it's a 60%, but it's not clicky. So I mean, it's, is that. So 60% keyboards, I have that, I have the G860, then I have, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to destroy my background now. Bubble wrap. And what's in, the, what's in here anyway? Is there anything in there? No? Okay, it's just to put your bits in. Um, then I have, then I have this, which if you've seen my video, uh, and I, I really like this, I really like this keyboard, especially now that it has uh, QMK. Uh, so I have that, what other 60% do I have? That's it really, the only 60% keyboards I have. Get more. Destroy the background. Uh, yes, they, the, those were the, um, where did I get this from? Yeah, the black and milky white. Yes, they are those ones, the PBT ones. They're all right. They're all right. Enjoy PBT. Yeah, enjoy PBT. Black and milky guys. So, yeah, I really like them. I really like them on this board, you know, because this is, a, this is a low budget board. It's got a cheap PCB, a cheap case and some cheap keycaps and some not that cheap clicky switches. So yeah, fits the theme, fits the theme well. Cherry Stottles versus Box Jade Navy. So I've only tried the Cherry Stottles, so I can't really compare, but uh, I really like those Cherry Stottles. They do sound nice. And from what I've heard, the, the, the Navies sound similar to me, but I've only heard them on, on YouTube videos, so. Couldn't give a good answer. Mm -mm. There's a 75% for $60 on Amazon. Team Wolf, top ball mechanical keyboard, but it looks pretty bad. Could be improved some DIY. That is something I would like to do, actually. I'd like to get a cheap keyboard and kind of mod it or improve it in some way. I was thinking about asking some of the other, you know, YouTube -y people if they wanted to kind of join in. Like we'd all buy a cheapo keyboard and then mod it, you know, beyond beyond recognition into something else. And then give it away. Uh, 
Yeah. So I was going to ask. I was going to ask some of the other people that I, I follow on, on YouTube, and Twitch. Yeah, I was going to stream on Twitch, but I don't. I don't, don't get. I don't understand Twitch. <laughs> I feel. I feel safer on YouTube. Where I understand. I understand where I am, um, a lot more than I do on Twitch. I like. I like watching streams on Twitch, but I. It's just. It's just a different culture that I don't really get. You know. I don't really understand any of the emotes, you know. Uh, I don't understand what they're supposed to be saying, uh, and, and the culture and stuff. It, it's it's really interesting. It's very different to uh, to YouTube. So I probably won't be streaming on on Twitch. I'll stick to I'll stick to where I know. Yeah. Concerned about getting a FC six sixty C due to issues with mini USB. Really. Oh wow! I haven't heard of that, and I ha my well, mine hasn't ripped off, um, but I I I haven't unplugged it a lot, so that really doesn't say anything. Anecdotal evidence of my use case: I haven't uh, I haven't ripped my mini USB thing off, but yeah. Team Wolf Zoo. Yeah, I've heard the name. I've heard the name. Did that snake? You did that with an MF sixty eight and put pro purples in it, and it's pretty nice. Yeah, I, that sounds like a fun a fun thing to do. Like, I think when I when I got that um, what did I get? I got the QFR, didn't I? And I I reviewed that, and the stabilizers were rubbish. But I think that's that's kind of an easy fix if you if you're prepared to go through the trouble of doing it. That's an easy fix. So you could mod that, and you could you know you could do other stuff. But I wouldn't want to do one with a keyboard that expensive. Um, that would be yeah. Unless I was rich. But yeah, get a cheap one and mod it. That would be cool. Contemplating joining a Spectro GB. Do I have any 96%, 96 plus keyboards? I do. I have, I have two. So I have this guy who's hiding out of the way. Ugh. 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 I have this. This old thing. This piece of junk. Uh, the TXCP in purple. The purple again. It's not this saturated. It's it's much paler, much paler than. Um, I think the main camera shows it a little bit better. The purples. The main camera can can do purples pretty well. So this is this is pretty accurate to how it looks in real life. Yeah. And of course I've got the one at hundred in my logo, yeah. The one at hundred is at work now. Gathering dust. Not because I don't use it, just because the office is so ridiculously dusty and dirty. Tramvu! Thanks for the sub. Thank you, Tramvu. Uh, yeah, it's gathering dust because the office is such a disgusting, dusty mess. Uh, but no, I have one of those covers. I have a... Not really gathering dust. Gathering dust if I forget to put the cover on. But yeah, I have a... Um, a Furoshiki cover. My, uh, my TX1800 at work as well. So yeah, that's sitting at work. It's ridiculously oversized for my desk though. Uh, what else are we going to unbox? Oh yeah. Oh god. No, oh, it's not going to work. Dragged up from the depths. Dragged up from the depths. I'm hungry, it's lunchtime. Yeah, so the TXCP has um, the Gatoron Clears and uh, GMK Stormtrooper, uh, which I like. And I, this is, you know, I've been, I usually rotate the keyboards around like I'm sure a lot of you do, you know. Because like I say, I still haven't decided exactly, like, I only like this layout, I only like 
these keycaps. I only like this profile. I only like these switches. You know, I haven't decided yet. So, uh, which is great, really. But I do like these. Could go a little bit of a heavier switch though. These Gatorons are pretty light. Not too light for me, but I think that's why a lot of people don't like them because they're pretty light. That's what people will say, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I do like them. So yeah, I don't remember why there are so many like things. Like, is this, is this normal? Why so many space bars? I guess these are six unit then. These are six unit and these are six, two, five, and these are seven, right? But it just seems like a lot of stuff. Is there some other stuff? Like this is the, um, this is the compatibility kit for the, uh, the MK9009. See, I haven't opened any of these. I'm not unboxing these, they go all over the place. Lose them. I like a lighter switch, it's not just not below 45 grams. Yeah, what are the what are the um the Gatoron Clears, I don't remember. What's the weighting on the Gatoron Clears? Are they below 45? Nine double line nine work best with the white space bar. Yeah, I was thinking that. Like, it's nice to have these other colors, but I think, yeah, I'm one of those that likes the, the space bar to match the, the alphas, usually. Unless, unless it's a split space bar on a 40%, in which case, hmm, I think those colored ones might look nice. Oh, so nice. This is just a set that I think you could use with almost anything. Like, I think almost any of the balls that I have anyway would go, would go with this set. Yeah, yeah it's GMK. I mean, GMK is not perfect. I don't think GMK is perfect by any means. But uh, I have more GMK sets than any other profile. So, I, you know, I guess, I, guess I, I, I like... GMK Cherry Profile, but, but, they are um, ABS, which is a, which is a no-no for a lot of people. Are they really? 35, wow, that's, that is super light, wow, that is light, okay. Are they 35, wow, that is right, see, like, I, I think because they're tactile, I don't feel like they're as light as the the reds that I've used. Because like, you know, when you rest your hands on reds, you can sometimes like actuate the switch by accident. I don't feel like they're that light, where I kind of accidentally pressing the switches. Perhaps that's because they're, they're tactiles. <laughs> Get your unclear is something that your hair can fall on and the board will activate switches. <laughs> No, no, not for me. I, I just, I, I guess I just have a light touch. Yeah. Yeah, you see, I think, um, I think uh, Huey hated them as well uh, when he, he was talking about them. I think a lot of people don't like them because they are so light. Yeah, but uh, maybe I like light switches. Yeah, but I mean, I've been using them on this keyboard ever since I built the keyboard, I think. I don't think I've ever had any other switch on the TXCP. So I've always used them. So, there you go. Uh, so that's that. I don't know what I'll be... I get, um, do you think these would go with the TXCP? The TX1800 is at work, like I said, but bringing it home again is like... Uh, I don't have a car, I've got to take it on the train. I've got to commute with my, you know, with my, what is it, like almost two, almost three kilogram keyboard. How heavy is the 1-800? It's like 1.7 or 1.8 kilograms or something, isn't it? If you're not subscribed and you want to see more keyboard content, hit that button. Oh, is that Nightbot? Oh, look, I've got Nightbot set up. I forgot about that. See, I've been, I've been prepping this, um, this, uh, this stream for, like, a long time. Um, 
I just like, you know, preparing things. Sad, sad. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Um, the other, I mean, since I've got stuff to hand, I might as well show. I'm not going to show everything, but uh, that is super saturated again. You see, webcams can't do red. They just can't do red. So this now has cherry silence, and I don't. I'm not really that impressed with these either. You know, when I when I did my um, when I did my build the first time with these, uh, and I did it with Gator on silence, and everyone was like, "Oh no, they're so scratchy, scratch, scratch," and they were. But like these ones aren't much better to my ears. The stickiness now the Gator ones were were sticky. Like if you hadn't used it, like I haven't used this for a while. If these were the Gator on silence. It would be a noticeable kind of stick when you when you press it for the first time on all the keys, you know, and that's not pleasant. But these are not silent in terms of the scratchiness. Like, I've got, I've got I think I've got a noise gate set up because I've got a fan, but to me, is that coming through? I mean, in an office they would be fine. If you're in an office with people using computers and stuff, these would be fine. But uh, no, I think the, the, the new Mini will be having an, another facelift. Uh, yeah, so I, I just put these um, SA caps on. You know, I'm not a massive SA fan, but... Uh... Everyone's asking me about Box Royal, I don't know. Chat, answer about Box Royals. The 40% boards, when I got this, I used it a lot, unless I was trying to use Photoshop. It's not a good, not a good combination, 40% with Photoshop or Premiere Pro, because usually I'm like, I'm editing videos or, you know, using Illustrator or, because like, even though like, I'm in my, my job, I'm making stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm a teacher, but, you know, I, I like to make my own worksheets and stuff like that. So and I, I do it with Illustrator a lot of the times. And uh, you can't really, well, I can't really use a 40% with Illustrator. I couldn't even use a 60. I, I need to have a full keyboard for that. But, uh, and that's why this TXCP has stayed on my desk for so long. But when I started using it, I absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. It's so nice not to have to move your hands for the arrow keys. And I haven't got that set up on the TXCP, even though I could. But it's just the fact that you have to, you, you're constricted by this size. It was just so much fun to, to use and just like, you know, up, down. And, you know, I, I, I think I have the arrows mapped to up, down, and then left, left, right, or something like that. And it was so nice, so nice. And the LEDs and stuff, it, it's such a nice keyboard. And I think even if you don't like 40%, I think you've got to get one. You've got to have at least one or two, or right, two. All right, three. Three's my limit. <laughs> You've got to have at least four of each form factor, right? Let's just say four, okay? You've got to have at least four of each form factor. So I think I'm pretty much there with 60%, but I do have canoe that's waiting. Well, I'm waiting for the canoe. And then I've got to get the Tokyo 60 as well. Did anybody get, anybody get the Tokyo 60? I did not. Is just money, just absolute money. I, 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 I wish I could have got it, but yeah, I've, I've got to, I've got to spend money on my, my setup because my computer is ailing, my equipment is ailing, everything's ailing. You're not doing a forty, snake. Do a forty. Sixty was too small for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 I can totally understand because, like, something like this, you, you've got to be really. You've got to be really set on the form factor. And at work, this is the best form factor for me. That TX1800 is just silly at work because my desk is, is pretty small. The space I have is pretty small. So it's probably, you know, I guess in the camera, you know, it's not that much bigger than what you can see on the screen. So that TX1800 is just kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Dapper Dop! Dapper Dop's here! Dapper Dop, I didn't notice you come in! 
you doing, mate? New mouse monitor, yeah, you see, yeah, I, I need a whole new setup and it's like, it's the worst time. Is anybody, is anybody in need of computer stuff now? You know, I feel your pain. I need new RAM, I need a new GPU, I need a, a new CPU. My CPU is like five, four or five years old or something. Anyway, it, it's, and it's an i5 and when I bought it, I wasn't doing any video editing and I've had this channel and doing YouTube and stuff for a few years now so it's just it just cannot com compete and I've got like three old hard drives from an old computer which are are less than like what is it less than 600 gigabytes or some, something so it's like I've got like four hard drives in it and four of them are just ridiculously small for for video and uh, it just needs a massive upgrade everything so but I can't that's why that's why I, I've had to cut down on the spending, and also I want to get um, a second camera. I think uh, I think Anthony got the GX7 Mark II. That's what it's called in Japan, anyway. I think it's called the G8 GX85. Um, yeah, Vortex Race Three. Yes, I have seen the Vortex Race Three. Oh, my stomach! My stomach's rumbling. Yeah, um, yeah, I have seen the Vortex Race Three. Is that the is that the is that the one that's kind of a seventy five with the with the big escape key? Yes. Vortex seem to do it. They seem to do a lot of things right. Fair to them. They 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 kind of straddle the mainstream and enthusiast markets pretty well, don't they? Yeah, RAM prices. It's ridiculous. GPUs. Rumors to go down soon though. Yeah. Okay. And I feel like I want to get an AMD GPU. I have an AMD GPU now. I've got, I, I bought a, a 480, 480. At the, like the best time before all the prices started to go ridiculous. I got mine for like 30,000 yen, which I guess is what, $300 or something like that, right? And that was like the best time to get it. It was like 29 or 30,000 yen. And that was like the best time to get it. And b before that, my GPU was um, a GTX 570, I think. I think it was a 570. It was like a triple slot, ridiculously large card. So I upgraded to that. And that was a nice upgrade. It wasn't a, a, a game changer, um, but it was a nice upgrade. But of course, now that I'm doing more uh, video stuff, I just need a new rig. Need a new rig. New rig is needed. All right. Well, I think I think that's pretty much all I've got as far as today today goes. So I'm going to be winding it up and go and get some lunch. What are you guys doing for the rest of your day? Here in Japan, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. So I should probably go for a walk and get some exercise. I've been I've been cooped up for like two weeks while school's been off, doing nothing, just making videos making overlays for live streams that I keep postponing and chickening out of. <laughs> I've chickened out of this live stream about six times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dapper Dop, catch the next one. Catch the next one. I don't know when the next one is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be a build video. It's kind of nerve wracking to do a build video. That's probably why I'll do an easy one that's unlikely to have any disasters on it. So it's probably going to be the Pearl will be the next live thing I do. I don't know when that'll be. 1 a.m. here. That is bedtime, mate, that is bedtime. So I'm not keeping you up too late for, for grown-ups. Where's the best place to get keycaps? The best place to get keycaps is probably on a group buy, which is the mass drop, or keep an eye on Geek Hack, or Mech Market on Reddit, yeah. Um, yeah, Mass Drop is a good place. Um, but if you don't like waiting, Originative, you know, th those kind of places are, are good places to, to get keycaps, but a bit expensive in Originative. So it's better to be patient, I think, and, and join a group buy from a reliable person. Yeah, there is risk involved. Yeah. 
going to play oh so see that's another thing i don't get I, I it's fascinating to me i don't know how people's brains and fingers can move that fast it is absolutely mind blowing uh, that's something i could never maybe i'll try it maybe i'll try it one day is there, are there any levels in Osu for, like, you know, noobs? They all seem like a million miles an hour. How can, how can somebody who's never played just, like, start? Where do you start? Where do you start with it? Yeah. If I was going to... I'd like to try it, because I see so many people who are into keyboards who are also into that. So I would like to try one day doing some Osu. Os... Now, I used to... Am I right in saying that that was inspired by the Nintendo DS game? Because I had that game. It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Love that game. Os Tatakai Oendan. And I always think of that when they do at, um, at sports days. At sports days in Japan, they have the Oendan. And it's, it's, it's you know, guys, you know, dressed in the, you know, school uniform sometimes. And, uh, you know... Uh, hachimaki and you know, that, that that kind of thing, and uh, they'll they will do like the you know the gestures like they did in the uh, in the game. I always think of that game when I see them doing that. Amazon has some in PBT. Yeah, you can get them from from sites like Amazon too, can't you? I mean, fancy pants ones like like the ones I was showing. You can get those on on group buys, but. Yeah, you can pick them up from, from Amazons. Oh, it was inspired by that, right. Yeah, see, I love that game. I love I loved that, but I haven't played Ossie yet. All right then, guys, I'm going to wind it up. Thank you very much for, for joining. And I, I, I had no expectation of more than like three people who happened to see it uh, join in. So really, really, thanks very much. And the nerves have gone, and I'm happy that Nobody's complaining that, you know, my chin is not in frame or, or they can't hear me or, you know, stuff like that. So if you, if you join late, then watch the, the VOD, whatever it's called, if, if and when YouTube uploads it. And yeah, well, thanks for your support. As always, everybody, I really do appreciate it because, you know, the reason I'm doing this stuff is because, you know, my, my job doesn't allow for a lot of creativity. So... I do this kind of thing just to kind of just to make something, you know, that's why that's why I make all my, my worksheets and stuff in Illustrate, uh, in Illustrator for work, because, you know, I could get away with just doing the bare minimum and not using any kind of imagination. But uh, I kind of I feel like I, I, I like doing that. And I like kind of overdoing things. That's why I've, I've overdone this. <laughs> I've overdone this overlay. Um, because I just like doing that stuff. And, I, you know, I, I like using the software. I like getting... That's why I kind of wanted to learn the software. The reason I make these videos is just so that I can just enjoy making the things. And I can learn. Like I said, I'm not an expert on, on any of this stuff. Like, I don't even know what, you know, what switches is my favorite switch and that kind of thing. So the reason I make these things is to learn and hopefully teach people who maybe know a little bit less than me. Probably not many of you that know less than me, but... Uh, yeah, I do appreciate the support and the, the comments and the feedback and stuff like that. Even if it's, you know, we couldn't hear you or the sound was bad, you know. Um, I get down, but then, you know, it is useful. So any comments and, and feedback is much appreciated. So thank you very much for that. So I will see you guys later. So is this the point where we do the awkward, I press stop streaming, but then YouTube keep streaming for five minutes? So should we do the, the, the Scooby-Doo freeze frame? I'll see you next time, guys.